So most schools are back in session already, and mm -hmm. if you're a parent trying to make <laughs> your kid's schedule and your work schedule kind of flow seamlessly, there are some options for you if you're feeling a little <laughs> like what's going on. Looking for what the kids can do after school. Yeah. Well, Kyle is out at the Frank Allen Boys and Girls Club this morning. He joins us live now. Kyle, that is one of the oldest and still busiest after school programs in our community. Yeah, they've been uh, doing this out, out here for more than a century. Uh, in fact, 106 years. We got video games going on behind us. In fact, they're just uh, turning back on. We got foosball table, uh, uh, air hockey table. We're in the teen center. And if you are of a certain age, we'll call it about 50 or younger. Chances are uh, during your formative years, you probably spent some time up here overlooking the basketball court. Although this has probably dramatically changed for some of those people who are in their late 40s and 50s. I'm pleased to be joined by the uh, CEO of the Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club, Mark Lindsay, today to tell us a little bit more about uh, the programs that are being offered that can help out parents who are trying to figure out the schedules, trying to make the adjustment back to school life. Uh, and this is just something that is available for, for the youth in our community to reinforce uh, some of those positive things in their lives. That's right, Cal. Thank you guys for having us on. The uh, Frank Callen Boys and Girls Club is the first and oldest charter boys and girls club in the state of Georgia. Um, we service kids ages 5 to 18. We're in the teen center now, so this is a 13-year-olds and up. This is a different environment. We did our youth development, our workforce readiness programs. As you said, most up-to-date games, but this is a safe, nurturing environment for our youth of Savannah. This is a, a kind of a comfort space. Uh, we've got the couches, we've got computers so they can jump on here. Uh, I'm sure some homework can get done depending on how many people are in here and that sort of thing. But um, you've got stuff that is really taking care of the kids after school in, into the evening, depending on what mom and dad's work schedule might be and what the, and what the needs of these, uh, these kids are. Yeah, the kids come in at about three o'clock and for the five to 12 year olds, they're here till seven. So it gives the parents time to work longer uh, to come and pick them at seven. The teens are allowed to stay here till nine o'clock and on Fridays, if they wanna hang around later, they can be here till as late as they want to be and our staff will be there for them. You've got the different programs. What are some of the things that, that you offer here at the Boys and Girls Club that uh, obviously we're, I said we're above the gym so it kind of starts there but you branch out. It's not just about getting them out there on a quarter of field. No, sports is just really a nice hook to get them in here but right now this club is the number one club in the state for IXL learning. So that's math, science, and social studies. My kids, our kids have done over 220,000 questions last year and they're just advancing. And it actually gives us the metrics on where they are in school. If they're falling behind, we can get them in with our private tutors. Uh, we get them in with our youth development staff. We also do, um, with the Savannah Philharmonic, music composition. We're doing film production. We got Kyle coming over here to teach them, not Kyle, but Chad coming to teach some sports broadcasting this year. So we've got a lot of different things and great arts for the kids too. Uh, you mentioned sports being the hook, and we, we were joking earlier that this is the, the club of champions. You had two national champions champions recently rolled through here last month. What's that like as a testament to what this program can be to the youth in our area and where they can go and what they can achieve? Well, it's really what we say with Boys and Girls Club of America. This is where great futures start. And for Nolan Smith Jr., he started here at five years old. And Flage started here at five years old. They both are members and Flage and Nolan both already given back to the community which is what we teach our kids that we have great upstanding citizens coming back and helping to to get the things that these other kids in the community need the leadership the foundation to become great citizens and we, this is getting much louder in the background you mentioned Nolan you said that he came up here uh, and saw this that this was dramatically different than it, what it was even when he was a kid yeah and we try and update it every five years six years to change it update the furniture and stuff for the kids but you know Nolan we actually had his watch party here you know when he got drafted by the Philadelphia Eagles so the kids are excited I mean it's great to have mentors like that that they can really look up to and identify with so Nolan Flage and all the other great members who've come through here our state senators representatives Carl Gilliard my alderman right now Derek Leggett I mean so many great members of this community Otis Johnson have come out of this club even Raphael Warnock's brothers used to play in this club there you go. so an opportunity that to, to further uh, yourself and further your, your young ones and, and what they want to do. Who knows, maybe one day they'll have their name called on the NBA basketball game that's playing right here behind us. Uh, when we come back in the next half hour, we're going to go down into the gym. Some exciting new things that are happening down there and he mentioned uh, the donations that are coming in. Going to show you where some of that money is going and also how the kids can get involved in these programs uh, This at, now that uh, school is back in session. Send it back to you.